Hello everyone, it's Leon again. I am uh, sat uncomfortably on the floor in front of the PS4 uh, again to go through PS4's remote play function. I just thought I'd show you how quickly, uh, how easy it is to set up, I should say. Um, so I've actually got my Vita, my PS4. First thing you do is you go to settings. Scroll all the way down to PS Vita connection settings. And there you enable remote play, correct directly with PS Vita. And then add device. That gives you this number, or a number, I should say. And then you go to your Vita and you activate the PS4 link, which was uh, part of PS Vita's 3.0 firmware. You tap on that, start it, select. We've got two options here remote play or second screen. So um, some apps like uh, Assassin's Creed 4, for example, that you have a map on a second screen, that sort of thing. But we're going to go for remote play in this case. And then you simply put in the number you've got there. Register the device. Do a little bit of thinking. And once you've added the device, are we actually in remote play yet? Checking environment connection. There we go. I'm in. There we go. So I'm now playing remote, remote play. It is that easy. You can see that the well, the touchpad acts as sort of R2 buttons. You can see it sort of showing where you're pressing on the back pad as you play. But yeah, there we go. Let me just move it around so you can see this a bit easier. <laughs> That's my owl not doing very well. Anyway, you get the idea. Then if you press the home button on your Vita, you can return back to the PS4 and you're back in. Oh yeah, that's it. And if you want to uh, quit out remote play, you just need to <laughs> Grab your pad, press the PS button, and then it asks you back to you know which one you want to log in as, and you're back in. There you go, easy as that.